Our objective, to design the best colored smoke deployment device that can be replicated by civilians at home. This knowledge compounds information gathered over the last year and a half studying obscuration devices. In case you haven't been following, we've quite literally smoked the military's equivalent hand-thrown screening devices. <laughs> See what I did there? In my last video, we tested this device made from a tiki torch can. Long story short, it flared up like a mother. Ooh, flare up. Come on. What? That is bizarre. That is bizarre. Though once we snuffed it, it was quite lovely. Snuffed, not sniffed. The rate of the reaction was slower than usual, likely due to the decreased pressure in the vessel secondary to the exit orifice being too large. We decided to test a smaller 5 8 inch exit orifice and the addition of a rivet or screw to secure the bottom plate from ejecting and creating a flutter valve to baffle the ejecting smoke. Here's how that went. I think we got it. That is a ton of smoke. Holy cow, dude. Awesome. We got this figured out. It maintains the canister well. It doesn't destroy the fuse. And the back pressure helps it burn. That was awesome. Okay, goodbye. I love you.